If you realize, these two questions, they are actually the same. This question appears in the pure physics while the other one in the combined science. One glance at this question, a lot of students have the misconception thinking that this lens here is a diverging lens. Because of these two ray, they actually open up. They do not converge to a point. Now let's revise this two diagram that you are familiar with. One is a diverging lens, while this is a converging lens. If the two rays that are parallel to the principal axis, after passing through the diverging lens, they will actually open up this way as shown. That explains why a lot of students think that if they open up, it must be a diverging lens. Let's continue with this converging lens. After passing through the lens, they will converge to a point where this is the focal point. Now pay attention to this ray. If the, the original ray is horizontal like that, if without the lens, it will just continue straight. But because of this diverging lens, these two rays actually diverge out as shown here. It opened up. Okay? But if it's a converging lens, the original path of the light is here. But after passing through the converging lens, they actually close up this way. So that's the characteristic of a converging lens. The rays actually close up come closer together well for a diverging lens the rays will actually open up so for this case let's take a focus on this ray here this is the original path of the light if there's no lens but because of this lens this ray actually closer closes in so this will give you a hint that this is a converging lens once we've determined this let's Take a look at the ray. Because these two rays, they, are, they do not converge to a point, it should give you a hint that this is a magnifying glass. Let's revise this again. Take a look at this picture, which you should be familiar with. There are four scenarios here. First, second, and third, the two rays, they actually come and converge to a point to form the real inverted image opposite side to the, of the lens to the object. So for this question, it should be scenario number four, magnifying glass, where the object is less than one focal length and the image form is magnified, virtual, and is upright. Okay, so let's go back to the question here and complete the ray. These two rays here, they do not converge. So what you need to do is you extend the rays backwards. It's a virtual ray, so take note it is dotted. And when they converge, this will be the position of the virtual image form. So the characteristic will be virtual. It will be magnified. And it will be upright. So there you have it. For So you know that the object here has to be less than focal, one focal length. So that means to say this will be my focal point. To the left of the object and the distance from the focal point to the optical center that will be the focal length of this lens which is more than 10 cm more than 10 cm here for the combined size question they actually ask you what kind of image is formed so you know that the image form is virtual so that's how you solve the question